Hi, Maya Savigny here from Essential Oils of Joy. Uh, today I want to give you a word that the Lord had spoke to me yesterday morning um, on uh, July 27th, Wednesday, 2022. And it's just a short word and um, I just want to bring you some scriptures and, and help you understand just what he said. When he first said it to me, I was kind of like, yeah. <laughs> and But then I was in... In awe, and um, yeah, let me just get into it and, and share with you what what I'm getting. Okay, so his words were simple, and he said, "Don't mistake my kindness with weakness." Okay, this to me is was meant for the wicked. To understand because God is very kind I don't think it was for those who truly fear the Lord as his children but I do also believe now as God was showing me things and telling me things that it's for his children or for those who say they're his children, but don't fear him. At least not the way they should. Because he is a just father and merciful and gracious and kind. But God will not be mocked. Galatians 6, 7 says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. So what are you sowing? So I'm going to share with you some scriptures that testify to what I heard yesterday morning. Proving it with the word. Okay. Ecclesiastics 8, 10 through 13 says, then I saw the wicked buried. They used to go in and out of the holy place and were praised in the city where they had done such things. This also is vanity. Because the sentence against an evil deed is not executed speedily, the heart of the children of man is fully set to do evil. Though a sinner does evil a hundred times it prolongs his life, yet I know that it will be well with those who fear God because they fear before him. But it will not be well with the wicked, neither will he prolong his days like a shadow because he does not fear before God. Ezekiel twenty-four thirteen through 14 says, On account of your unclean lewdness, because I would have cleansed you and you were not cleansed, cleansed from your uncleanness, you shall not be cleansed any more till I have satisfied my fury upon you. I am the Lord, I have spoken, and it shall come to pass. I will do it. I will not go back, I will not spare, I will not relent. According to your ways and your deeds, you will be judged, declares the Lord God. Romans eleven twenty two. 22. <sighs> Note that in the kindness and the severity of God, severity towards those who have fallen, but kind, God's kindness to you, provided you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you too will be cut off. Romans 2, 4 and 5. Or do you presume on the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience, not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance, but because of your hard and impotent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. Psalms 103.8 The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Naham 1, 2, and 3 The Lord is a jealous and avenging God. The Lord is avenging and wrathful. The Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries and keeps wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger 
and great in power. And the Lord will by no means clear the guilty. His way is in whirlwind and storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. The wicked will pay, will pay for the wrong they have done, especially to God's children. They will. Isaiah 57, 16. For I will not contend forever, nor will I always be angry. For the spirit would grow faint before me and the breath of life that I made. What's that breath of life? Therefore, the Lord is waiting to show, to show you mercy. Sorry, Isaiah 30, 18. Therefore, the Lord is waiting to show you mercy and is rising up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a just God. All who wait patiently for him are happy. And then it goes on to say, lower in 27 and 28, of the same, same chapter, Behold, the name of the Lord comes from afar, burning with his anger and in thick rising smoke. His lips are full of fury and his tongue is like a devouring fire. His breath is like an overflowing stream that reaches up the neck. To sip the nations with a sieve of destruction and to place on the jaws of the people, peoples a bridle that leads astray. Judgment's gonna come to the wicked nations. Deuteronomy 32.4, the rock. His perfect, his work is, sorry, his work is perfect. All his ways are entirely just. A faithful God without prejudice. He is, a, he is righteous and true. Second Chronicles 19.7 says, And now may the terror of the Lord be on you. Watch what you do. And there is no injustice or partiality or taking bribes with the Lord our God. Psalms 89.14 Righteous, righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Faithful love and truth go before you. We are to fear the Lord. We are. As believers, we are not to take his grace and mercy for granted in any way. We are to repent and not keep sinning. We are to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. When the Lord said this to me this morning, I was like, yay, those wicked people better wake up before it's too late. And then, and then I got to check because the Lord wants everyone to be saved. Okay. So he is very slow to bring his wrath. But then I realized that it wasn't just for the wicked. He was saying this and we, as his children, Get that same grace and mercy for our, from our Father. He's slow to anger with us, too, as he doesn't want to see us suffer, but also come to repentance. We can't just live by the grace message. Works without faith if is dead, right? Yes, the grace mess. The, the, his grace is sufficient, absolutely. But it also means we don't continue to, we don't continue in our sin. Right? We're we're not here to to, to keep sinning. I want to. I can't quote the scripture off the top of my head, but it's like. I think it's Paul that says, you know, am I, am I to keep on sinning? No. No. We are put here by God to rule and reign as kings and priests. To take dominion over the earth. And I honestly believe God is waiting also for us to do our job that we were created to do. And I think that's why our prayers are so important, our petitions and, you know, praying in the spirit and, and speaking and, and, and talking and, and speaking truth in his word. Because I don't think God moves without, without his children. 
We have dominion over this earth. This, this earth is like our responsibility. Satan thinks it's his now, but no. <laughs> Jesus came, Jesus died, Jesus took the keys of hell back. And guess what? He's dangling them in front of Satan. Satan don't have many more. We do. We are under the new covenant blood. We rule and reign with Christ. The Lord, is, our God, is kind. Absolutely kind. And he is certainly not weak. Which just means he is just. And he will repay the wicked. He will repay the evil. And we need to fear the Lord. We need to fear the Lord. These are just some of my thoughts on <laughs> that small <laughs> thing that God told me. Don't mistake my kindness with weakness. Because it's certainly not weak. God is certainly not weak. He is strong. He is mighty. And worthy of all of our praise. If you like this, share it. I have... Um, I'm affiliates with some some amazing products. I'm going to put those links below. Um, like, comment, and share. Love you all. I hope you have a blessed day.